Here's the boiler. It's looking quite neat now. I've got the cladding on it. I'm beginning to assemble it in a way that I'm going to be ready for steaming. And um, see the, where the pipe work shoves underneath the uh, the cladding here. This was the main steam pipe. Remember I was talking about that and I showed, I, I clipped it off here so I could connect it to the cylinders and I could pre-thread it underneath the cladding. That's it in there. And you can see the, the, uh, the bands are strips of brass. Fold the ends over and use a, um, a little twist of wire to hold them together. And that's the thing that's holding this cladding around the boiler. Also, you'll note that um, I actually have the, um, um, the insulation in parts of the boiler but there's so little clearance underneath here that I had to forego putting um, uh, insulation in that part there. So it's not going to worry, it's not going to lose that much heat. Now what I have to do is fit the boiler into the frames here. And um, it takes a little bit of fiddling and it's all sort of a part of a process. I've already had to take it out once because I needed to put other things in. Before I got there, I can already see something I need to do, and that is ease this pipe around a bit of lagging here to give it a bit more workable space. Okay, hopefully that works. So I've got fixing at the front end, which is solid here. Um, where the smoke box is, and then I've got a sliding joint here that is worked by, you can see it if I bring it up into close-up, it's a sliding joint fixed at the smoke box end, but it has to slide at this end because the boiler will expand as it gets hotter, and if you fasten it into the frame solidly, it's going to break something in the end. To get into the frames I have to sort of do a a little bit of a shuttle round because there are various pipes to connect in this. It's getting to be quite a heavy mass this. Just need to get these pipes in alignment. Okay, those pipes are fixed in. This is the water fill from the uh, for the good old valve. So I have a number on uh, this part here, number two. This side frame is number two, so it slides in here. And really close to that pipe, I have to lift the running boards up to get it in. Okay, now it's clipped in. Now I have to find a piece of metal that I can support the wheels with like that. Find the screw. Put the screw in the spinner. Not too tight, but tight enough. So we're going to get very hot there. This frame, this uh, foot plate can now come down back into the spot it's supposed to be in. It's all various line line-up pieces here. This is my first real assembly of the locomotive. And um, I'm glad I didn't paint it now because there are little modifications I've had to do. I've had to cut out a little bit more underneath here to allow the weight shaft to work without jamming, something I didn't foresee before. This uh, bracket here has the pipe going through which makes it rather tight there. This pipe has to connect up with here. I'll do that in a moment. What I need to do is get the other side of the boiler fixed. I have to put this block of wood underneath the cylinder to prevent it rolling round on the valve gear. Maybe bending the combination lever. Right, I've got that piece slid in there. Gotta tug into this pipe a bit. So that's got that fixed in there. It's got the boiler fixed. Now all I have to do is around to the front 
and start putting my Tempe A screws in here once I've got the smoke box right and level to fasten the front end down. One of the secrets is not to over tighten these 10 BA screws, they're not that strong. These ones have a um, so called 11 BA head on them, but I had to make a special tool here because 11 BA they were a funny size, they weren't actually 11 BA. So I made this tool out of a piece of um, what would you call it? You call it um, it's a countersunk hex head. Um, screw which has been turned down a couple of nuts put on the back of it which just happened to be the right size you got to have a lot of patience with these jobs Boilers in the frame, it's held in the frame, good and solid. This is the, um, the servo motor for the reversing gear with its cord. We've got the steps on around this side. You can see the main steam pipe going down there. This is a feed up to the clack here from the pump. That's the bypass. It's going to go onto a valve. We've got the blower valve here running down and into the smoke box. Sand dome. Next is putting the side tanks and the cab on.